Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my new abode. That's right, if you saw the uh, last week's video, you uh, already know that I moved. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, and or title of this video, the Camaro and the C10 now have new homes. But so do I. So, in this video, I'm going to show you my new place. A little bit of it anyway, the part that you're probably interested in. But, uh, so I thought, what a better time to talk about my plans for the channel for the year of 2020. Okay guys, so before I get started, I want to let you know, as you can see, I am in a new environment. This is my new place. Um, it's really cold outside, so, you know, I'm going to video part of this inside. Um, also, I'm using a new camera. This is the first time I've ever used this camera. So, I don't know how well the audio is going to be. I don't have a mic on it. So, it, it may be good, may be bad. I don't know, we'll just have to see. And you know, I've been busy with the move and everything, and I still haven't got everything moved, actually, as you'll see in just a minute. Um, so I haven't really had time to do much um, with the cars. I don't have anything really exciting today, but I am going to let you know some of my ideas for uh, the plans for the channel uh, coming in 2020. Uh, as you know, it's cold right now, obviously. Uh, so I haven't been out. Uh, all the racetracks are kind of basically shut down, uh, but what better time than the winter to, you know, work on uh, the projects, and I'm going to show you something in just a minute uh, that's going to allow me to do that better. Yep. You know what, let's do that first. I'm going to show you the best part of this new place, and uh, then we'll come back and talk about that. So there was uh, the best part of the house, at least for me. Uh, that's the garage. So as you can see, it does have a two-car garage. And unfortunately, I don't have the CTM uh, moved up here yet. I actually know a, a local mechanic back where the CTM is now who has uh, told me he would paint the hood on it. Uh, the hood that's on it is relatively new, and I, I didn't ever paint it when I bought it so it's kind of it's, it's fading and it's actually starting to rust a little bit so I need to get some paint on and he's told me he would do that anyway he's a pretty good painter and you know uh, reasonably priced so I'm just gonna leave it down there let him do that uh, it may be a while he's pretty busy but once that's done I'm gonna move uh, the truck up here as well but as you can see I got the Camaro back there so this winter I'm gonna be in here you know, uh, uh, doing some work on the C10. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. You know, look at this. See, we got a little heater. Uh -huh. Yeah, anyway, that's, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. But I'm going to go back in and uh, talk about kind of my plans for the channel for the, this year. All right, guys, so there is the new garage. Uh, the best part of this place 
and is the garage, at least for me. Yeah, so that's out of the way. Let's talk about uh, some of my plans for the next, this year and the spring um, coming up. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna get the hood painted on the C10, um, hopefully very shortly. So once I get that done, I'm gonna, I'll be moving the C10 up here. And um, while it's cold outside, I think I'm gonna start getting back to work on the C10. Uh, I know most of you probably are here for that truck rather than the Camaro. Of course, I'm still gonna be doing plenty of uh, content with it. Um, in fact, I got a big race coming up. Actually, um, like I said, most of the tracks around here are essentially shut down for the winter, but there is one event going on in, that I'm uh, hopefully gonna go to. It's an all streetcar event. Uh, the rule is that you have to drive the car there. So uh, that'd be cool. I'm gonna take the Camaro down and um, actually uh, compete a little bit. I'm not promising that's gonna happen because uh, the temperature has to be at least 45 degrees. So if it's not that much or higher, uh, they're gonna cancel it. So we'll just have to see. Moving on to a little more further into the future. Um, like I said, I'm about to get back to work on the C10, okay? Uh, like I said, I got the hood gonna be painted. And then I think I'm gonna get started kind of doing some work to the interior. Um, the interior is just terrible. The dash is cracked up. You know, I have changed the seats in it. I've got racing seats in it. I uh, changed the steering wheel, but other than that, everything is pretty much back from 1983 and it is worn out and just, you know, a lot of it's not functional. I need to get the windows cleaned up. I need to change those little uh, wing windows, those side windows. And I'm not sure what they're called. I think wing. Yeah, wing window maybe. Anyway, I need to get those changed out because they're they're broken, or at least the latch is broken. I want to get all that prepped up so I can tint the windows. So you know, all that'll be kind of fun uh, to do while it's cold in the garage. Uh, and then I'm gonna get started. After that, uh, I want to get I want to do some uh, pretty major suspension upgrades. I haven't completely decided how far I want to go with it, but um, I definitely want to do some pretty, pretty major suspension upgrades. Lower it a little bit. I'm even thinking about narrowing the rear end. Definitely want to beef up the rear end, but uh, I may even narrow it. Let me know what you think about that. I haven't decided yet. And if I do, how should I do it? You know, what, what, what route should I take? But anyway, those two things are coming. Uh, at least that's, that's my plan for now. Uh, you know, things can change, but then once I get the suspension done, I do want to get the truck painted. Uh, there are, you know, those stickers that's on the, the bottom portion of the truck. Uh, those are actually there to cover up some pretty major blemishes in the paint. Needs a little bit of body work. Uh, there's a few things here and there, but uh, I, overall it's pretty straight, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I don't think there's any major rust issues we'll see but uh you know i'm even i don't know I, i'm even considering uh doing an engine swap on the truck i um i like the little 350 that's in it it sounds great i don't know what well, i'm thinking about it that probably won't happen until later on in the year if it does at all but i'm just throwing these ideas out there um if i did do that what what, what kind of engine um, upgrade or or swap what do you guys think what do you think I should just build another small block you know first gen uh, small block or um, should I should I swap it out for an LS or something you guys let me know what you think but uh, enough with the C10 uh, of course the Camaro is still around I'm gonna be doing plenty with that too I got a few uh, other modifications that I'm flirting with uh, to do to it. I haven't fully decided yet, so I'm not even going to talk about it um, right now. And I know this video is getting a little bit long of me just sitting here talking. So uh, anyway, that's that's just kind of my thoughts for the year of 2020. Of course, I'll be going to different events, uh, different racetracks, um, just, you know, doing things like that beyond just the upgrades and the build process that I've mentioned. With And, you know, who knows what else will 
come up. But uh, that's kind of some ideas. But anyway, I know this video has been boring. It was just kind of an up update for you guys. Let you know what, what I've been doing. Uh, that I'm kind of relocated. Anyway, I hope you guys had great holidays. But I'm going to go. If you want to watch another video, I'll link some here on the screen somewhere. And if you are haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.